Yo, Comics Dad, we getting over 2099. And this Annihilation 2099 that's coming out soon. It says on a remote uh, town in a remote world is a devastated by a ravenous, unforgetting knoll set. A gang of raiders and thieves obsessed with uh, offering up all life to the darkness. But that all changes when a stranger comes to town. A stranger from the stars who answers to his own code. The last survivor of Xandar, the last Nova. Who is the last Nova? And what great tragedy does he carry on his back? Is he the inheritor of the Nova Corpse or his destroyer? Then we got Star-Lord as she guards the solar system of 2099. But she faces a villain like no other, Quasar the Living Star. Born to a falling star raised on planet Wakanda, Star-Lord risks her life to save a world against a sun gone mad. This is Star-Lord, and it's the first appearance of her. Issue 3, we get an uh, all new Red Hulk whose cosmic strength and hyperspace jumps are fueled by the power primordial. And is the new Hulk, Red Hulk's power enough to defeat Terax, the Planet Hunter? This will be the first appearance of the all new Red Hulk. But this is the coldest fucking one. Issue 4. His life is cut short. Mephisto offers jo Jonah Marlowe a deal. More time amongst the living in return for his soul. Now he collects souls for his master as the Silver Surfer of 2099. But can he do the devil's bidding no longer? It's Mephisto versus the Silver Surfer with a gal galaxy of souls on the line. This would be the first appearance and the first cover appearance of Silver Surfer 2099 in Annihilation 2099, issue 4. And in the last issue of Annihilation 2099, issue 5, we get Dracula 2099. After a spaceship crashes on an alien world, the wreck reveals a, a deadly discovery, Dracula. But this is a planet terror, uh, terrified of the daylight, which Dracula couldn't love more. Soon, he's their hero. Off this, this, and this alone, I'm grabbing this series. All this shit come out soon, I believe in June, because the last issue come out July 31st, 2024.